Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be watercolor painting a pack of cigarettes. That's right. I have previously drawn a pack of cigarettes before, and I thought it turned out pretty cool. I thought it turned out pretty good. I liked the drawing quite a bit. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. And I think that the Marlboro Reds in specific will look pretty good if watercolored. So as such, that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing in today's video. First off, what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to be drawing the pack of Marlboro Reds with my pencil, Graph Gear 500 mechanical pencil. It's 0.5 millimeter lead size. Then after that, I'm actually going to be watercolor painting the pack of Marlboro Reds with, well, red watercolor paint. And then after that, I'm going to go over all of the lines with my Sharpie S gel pen to finish the drawing off to help me today get all of my perspective stuff right and everything like that, because I am going to be trying to draw the pack in 3D. I have an Alva, Alvin Flexible Stainless Steel Ruler R590-15 Alvin and Company Inc. www.alvinco.com, China. Uh, and then it, it just has a bunch of other text, inches, metric, all of that sort of stuff. I'm not going to be using any of that in today's video, uh, but what I am going to be using is the ruler to help me actually get the perspective right. This is a pretty big ruler. It's, it's a pretty big ruler, I ain't gonna lie. Hopefully it works for this sheet of paper, uh, but either way, this is, a, this is a great ruler. It could be a little bit smaller, I ain't gonna lie, but I really do like this ruler, and hopefully it helps me get my perspective just a little bit more right than not, because how I want to do this drawing is I kind of want it to be at an angle. Like, this is how I'm looking at it right now. I want it to be at this angle. I'm looking at it into show you guys the angle I want. I kind of want it to be at like this angle. I don't want to show any of the bottom, but I do want to show, show some of the top and I do want to show some of the side as well. So that's kind of the angle I want for this pack of cigarettes right here. And doing like an angled sort of design is not really my forte, but that's how I want to do the, well, drawing in today's video. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do. Uh, first off, I think I'm going to go ahead and actually draw them out of the bottom of the pack. I'm just going to go and just take a look one more time. So it needs to be at kind of like this angle kind of thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and position my ruler on my piece of paper. Uh, the, the packet of cigarettes itself is not going to be the biggest. I'm not going to be trying to make it super big or anything like that. I just want it to be good. I'm not really focused on filling up the entire page. And there we go. I think that should be good. So let's just go ahead and get some lead out. And let's go ahead and just go like that. Is that enough? I think that should be plenty. And then so now I'm going to go ahead and just looking at it from the perspective, of course, it's just got to go straight up. So I am going to have it go straight up just like this. That should be straight up. Mess that up just a little bit, but that's okay is what it is. I'm not worried about it. And then I'm going to have that go up just a little bit more. This is kind of off-center, which is bothering me, but that's okay. There we go. Okay, that should be good. And then I'm going to go and take this right here, and I'm just going to go up just like that. I think that's just about right. And let's go back down just like that. And now let's go ahead and go straight up and down just like that. And there we go. All right. And then I'm just going to go and connect up the corner just like that. All right. Perfect. And then, so now what I need to do, I'm going to go and take a look at the pack again. This is already looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how this is looking so far. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Let's just go and take a look again. And so now I need it to be kind of a little bit of a sideways look. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of look at this while I'm positioning my ruler. Let's see. And I'm thinking it's going to be, like, looking at it, I'm thinking it's going to be like that, I'm thinking. Let's go with that, I'm thinking. I'm thinking like that. So let's let's leave it like that. Let's have this come up a little bit. Do, 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 do. Just like that. I'm thinking that's too, I'm thinking that's too harsh, too straight up. So let's go like this instead. There we go. And I think that's just about perfect. And let's go ahead and have another straight line. And I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and erase this real quick. I've got my, what is this? This is a Pentel Click Eraser. 
does indeed click, which is pretty cool. ZE21 Japan, made in Japan. Hey, can't beat that. That's for sure. This is a great eraser. That definitely pretty cheap, pretty basic eraser. I've got some other mechanical erasers over here. Um, I love my mechanical erasers. Uh, this one doesn't really work very well, though. You have to pull it out yourself, which kind of defeats the point of it being a mechanical eraser, I ain't gonna lie. Although I am a pretty big fan of this eraser. I like how it looks. It just doesn't really work very well. And I've had another mechanical eraser break on me before, so I've had that in a previous video. And let's go ahead and just take a look at the pack again, though. And so now I want this same line going like that. And then I'm going to connect that up uh, just like that. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. Oh, so let's, let's take that. Oh, I messed that up. All right, let's try that again. Alrighty, and let's go ahead and then just connect these two up. Just like that, there we go. And now let's go ahead and do this line on the other side again. And I am actually just gonna move this out of the way real quick. That is disrupting my moving the ruler around should have definitely placed the pack a little bit lower on the piece of paper, but it is what it is. I'm not going to restart now, that's for damn sure. Ah, it's still, ah, it's still getting me. Okay, placing this over here for the moment, so it's completely out of my way, and I'm going to move my water, too. I've got to concentrate fully. 3D is not my forte. 3D is not my forte. but it's what I want to do in today's video. All right, and then now I just need to do this right here. Make sure that's all lined up properly. Connect up with this one right here. Come over. There we go. Alrighty. And that is the pack of cigarettes all drawn. So that's that's the first step of this drawing right here. And next, I actually now need to actually draw all of the details that are going to be on this pack of cigarettes, which is going to be the real challenge. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm pretty happy with how it's looking three-dimensionally. I do know how to actually draw. Uh, 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 ooh, I actually want that to be a little bit further out. I do actually know how to draw 3D when I really try, kind of. I'm still not very good at it, but hey, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna have that just so it's a little bit more even. I'm just gonna erase that. I'm just gonna erase all of that, and then I'm just gonna redraw, re, re, re go over it. Maybe not, actually. I think I'll just leave it as it was. All right, there we go. Yep, that did nothing. I should have just left it as it was, in all honesty. Oh, well, it is what it is. Alrighty, so... Now I've got to go ahead and draw the ribbon. I'm going to go ahead and do that first, and then I'm going to go and do the filter cigarettes right here. I'm going to do the design, the text, and all that sort of stuff. Of course, it's not actually going to say Marlboro. It's going to be say, saying some different text and all of that sort of stuff. But I do want it to still look more accurate than not. So the ribbon, looking at it like that, kind of goes like up to like right there. So... If the middle of the pack is, oh, and wow, I'm actually using the ruler. So if the middle of the pack is, so this is almost four and a half inches. So this goes about, well, this is what, three and a little bit of quarter, about eight. Oof, what's the right way of putting this? This is metric, so this is centimeters. So this is a little bit over eight centimeters long, which is about right. 
for about a little bit over 80 millimeters. It's about right, because these are 78 millimeter cigarettes. I want to say, no, is that right? Yeah, I want to say these are 78 millimeter cigarettes. Marlboro Reds are a little bit shorter than the normal king size pack. And, because that's a little bit over eight. And then, so we can see, so that is right about at the one and a half. So if this is a little bit over eight centimeters, this is 11. So that's at one and a half. So that's going to be right at about two and a half, let's say, I think. Let's go with three, actually. Let's go with three. So I'm just going to place that. Where's the middle? So this is about a little bit less than eight centimeters. So the middle is going to be right. Da, 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 put my finger right there. Show us right around. That's going to be right about there. No, that's, that's about right. Okay, right about there. That's where the middle is. All right, cool, cool. And now let's go ahead and actually start doing that. Okay, so, yeah, I definitely need to buy a, a shorter ruler, I ain't gonna lie. So taking a look at the perspective I want, again, so it's kind of going to be sharp, so definitely not like that. I'm kind of thinking it needs to come down like that. That's what I'm thinking right now, and then it's going to be less sharp coming towards me. I'm thinking that's about right. I'm going to try for it. If it doesn't look right, then I can always try again. And I just need to make sure that's right. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. That looks pretty good to me. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. There we go. And so now let's go ahead and do the filter cigarettes. So I am quite literally, this is going to be one of the easier ones, quite literally just going to go down just by a little bit and do a line right there. And I'm going to go down a little bit from that line right there. And I'm just going to do that right there. Ooh, that's not quite down far enough. I think I might have made the ribbon go down a little bit too much. Let's just uh, have it go down a little bit more. Just like that. And I'm going to actually make this a little bit longer because this is a little bit longer. Yeah, that's, that's, I've made it too small. So I'm going to have that go down like that. Go back to the top one. Go across just like that. There we go. Perfect. I'm actually going to leave the middle line because I'm not actually going to write any text or anything like that. I'm just going to have a line going across like that. And there we go. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Pretty happy with how that turned out. And, and now here's for the hard part. I've got to actually draw a design that looks like it actually is meant to be at a 3D angle. Uh, that's the hard part because now I'm going to be working on the Philip Morse logo itself. Um, and so the pack... It's about right there, so the pack split is right about there. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's where the pack, pack split is. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm thinking about drawing that. I'm thinking also about not drawing that. I'm not sure. I'll figure that out. Uh, I don't think I really care to, in all honesty. I'm like, I could just do the back of the pack. Um, but it does look more right with the, with the little lip. I think I might add that. I'm actually going to go and add that real quick. So that should be right about there. And then it's going to go up really sharply like that. That's not quite sharp enough. So it's going to go up like that. Okay. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. I'm spending a lot of time on the uh, on just the 3D element of this drawing, but I think it'll be worth it. I think it'll be completely worth it. So there we go. Alrighty, that is all done, and now I've got to go ahead and do the design itself. Whew. Okay. Uh, so the design itself. What design do I want to do? I kind of just want to do one of my characters' faces, um, but I want to make it look like it's meant to be. So I'm going to 
start off right here, go right there, and then I've got to make sure that that line is going like that. And that's where I made a mistake. It's not looking like it's at an angle right now, except for the line, except for the face, or except for the uh, mouth, which is looking like it's at an angle. So I am going to erase this real quick, and then I'm going to redraw it. Cannot complain. Let's go ahead and redraw just the mouth right there. I'm just going to put this at a little bit more of an angle. I think I want that go like that. I think that should be about right. Let's have this going at an angle now. And there we go. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm just going to go ahead and just straighten this out, make it a little bit longer on this side, add some extra details. There we go. All right, perfect, perfect. And now for the hard part. This is good. This is the text, and I will admit, I feel like this is at a little bit too much of an angle. But I know it's right. The angle's right. It just does not look right. Hmm. It's really looking like it's. It's looking like it's too sideways. Maybe it's the nose. Maybe it's the nose. Hmm. Well, the nose still needs to be at an angle too. So okay, I just drew that not at an angle. I need a more I need a more detailed eraser. I ain't gonna lie. I'll buy one in the future. Let's try right in the middle, just like that. How am I feeling about that? I don't know. It still feels like it's at too much of an angle. Hmm. And I feel like, I'm just gonna sketch for a minute. I feel like it should look like that instead. That's actually more accurate to the box itself. All right. So let's just try to stick with that. I'm gonna regrow this eye right here. This is very enjoyable, though. It's kind of a therapeutic to uh, do something so different like this. I really do not typically mess with uh, 3D stuff, uh, but it's honestly very nice to be uh, doing that today. Alrighty, I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like that. It's okay. I'm not going to work anymore on that. And now I've got to go for the text. Uh, so what do I want the text to be? So from an angle... Text still needs to be just straight up and down kind of thing. Actually, is that what's bothering me? Because I'm like, yeah, the text needs to be like at an angle. So I'm going to go up a bit and then I'm just going to go and do a line right there. I'm going to do another line like that. And then if I want to if I want to go back through and then there's the line that goes like that. So let's just go ahead and do that as well. Perfect. It's a little bit thinner on the side, but whatever. And now let's go ahead and just have it be where the text is going to be. So I'm just going to put that right there and then just have it come up just like that. So I'm not going to be writing 20 Class A cigarettes on uh, this pack right here, uh, like it does on this pack in gold. I'm not going to be writing that. I'm just going to have a line right there. And then now I'm going to move that up a little bit more from there. And there we go. Okay, and this is going to be the baseline for where the text needs to be. So 
what text do I want it to say? I'm thinking Joe. I'm thinking Joe. Uh, but if I write it in the normal way I write Joe, I don't know if I'm going to really get it to turn out very well. Because I want to do it like graffiti style or something like that kind of thing. And I think that would be sick. Um, oh, maybe that's what's bothering me. Maybe that's what's bothering me. Maybe that's not, not enough of an angle. My, the face is still bothering me. I might redraw it after I'm done with the text. Uh, so, if I'm going to be doing it like that, and I am going to go ahead, I'm, not, I'm actually going to erase that. I'm going to go back. I'm going to do a really big thick line up here and everything. So I'm not going to write. I'm not going to write Joe or Marlboro up here or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, okay, okay. This is taking me a minute. I ain't going to lie. This is definitely taking me a minute. Whew. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so I want to do Joe, but... Joe, that's definitely at too much of an angle. It needs to be more straight up. Okay. I should really get some lighter lead for my pencil. I think this is an HB. Oopsies. I don't know. It's got just the base lead, and I haven't changed the lead out. I've had the pen for years, and I haven't run out of the lead yet. <laughs> I don't use mechanical pencils too often. I'm, I'm mostly just a pen person, but when I'm watercolor painting, I definitely do want to use a mechanical pencil just to make sure I get everything right. Now, this needs to be a little bit more straight up and down now. So, there we go. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I am pretty happy with that as a whole. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. I am gonna make this a little bit smaller. I definitely don't want that going up as far as it is. And it definitely doesn't quite look like my normal Joe right there, but it's uh, it's close enough. It is certainly close enough and it will have to do. And actually, I do actually want it going up further. I'm gonna actually erase this instead and have this going up further just so it matches a little bit better. There we go. Alrighty. So yeah, it definitely looks a little bit more engineered than my normal Joe, which is not really a look I'm a super big fan of, but I can't complain. Joe. Joe mama. Got him. Erase that. Alrighty. So cool, cool. Okay, so the majority of the details for the pack are now done. I cannot complain about that. I'm actually going to have this come up a little bit more as well. There we go. Alrighty. So how am I feeling about the face still? And I'm going to go ahead and erase the line I used to position the text. Just like that. Alrighty, sweet. So that is all done now. And so now I'm thinking I am going to... Hmm, go ahead and... I want to redo the face. I'm not really not super happy with the face. I don't know, it just doesn't feel quite right. Yeah, I think I want to redo the face before I actually start watercolor painting because I'm almost done. I'm almost done with all of the details, but I'm not happy with the face. So I'm going to kind of mess around with the nose a little bit and then just base everything else off of the nose because I think the nose is what's bothering me the most. The rest of it, it's a bunch of circles. It doesn't really matter all that much. Uh, it'll, it'll look like it matters or it'll look okay no matter what kind of thing because it's just a circle, uh, but straight lines are what really matters. And so looking at this design from an angle, there are no straight lines, and that's the issue. I have nothing to base this off of. The great thing about the Marlboro text is that I did have something to base it off of, uh, but this has no straight lines. Um, so let's see, just looking at it like that. <laughs> I'm thinking... So the text that's on it is still straight up and down. So... Yeah, I'm thinking the nose needs to be straight up and down. Oh, and that's another thing that's bothering me. That's not quite centered either. 
think that might be part of the thing that's bothering me. The nose is not quite centered. So let's have that start right there. And then that other side is going to start right there. And then I'm going to put an eye on this side and an eye on this side. There we go. And then the mouth is, of course, going to be the same. Alrighty. Am I more happy with that? Uh, I think so. I think I am more happy with that. So I think I'll just stick with that face. And worst case scenario, eh, I'm not happy with it and it is what it is. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and just stick with that. There is some more text I need to do on the side right here. I'm not going to do any of the gold text up here. I'm just going to leave that blank and I'm just going to not have it on there. Uh, but what I am going to do is the Marlboro text right here. I'm just going to be, a it's just going to be a line like this just to uh, be like, okay, yeah, there's text right here. And I'm not going to do the barcode or anything like that. Uh, so that line, that is right under the ribbon, which I need to go ahead and do on this side anyway. There we go. And then so I'm just going to take that. And then just do that just right in the middle right there. Just like that. There we go. All right, and there we go. I think that is all. Oh, one thing I did forget to do, one thing I did forget to do is I forgot to go ahead and go in the middle like this. There we go. All right, perfect. This pack is now fully sketched out. So without further ado, I do think I'm going to go ahead and start watercolor painting. I'm going to put my ruler on my bed behind me. I'm going to go ahead and reposition this piece of paper and go ahead and grab my watercolor set once again. Brush that to the side. Go ahead and put this down. Go ahead and bring my water back. And now I'm going to go and start watercolor painting. I'm going to be using, I think, mm, which brush do I want to use in today's video? I think I'm going to be using this one in today's video. I think I'm going to be using this one. This is a pretty small brush for the size of the drawing, but I think it's probably going to be a better idea than not. And I'm going to go ahead and move to this side, and I'm going to go ahead and just start dampening up the, wa the space where I'm going to be uh, putting all of the watercolor and everything like that. Just start dampening it up just so I'm not... Just going right onto, just going full raw onto a, uh, a completely dry piece of paper. And I'm just going to be doing the front first. And then I'm going to be moving on to the sides and stuff. All right, so there we go. That is all a little bit wet now. So let's go and grab some red. Just grab it just like that. And let's just go ahead and start going. And I definitely want this side to be darker as well. So I'm going to be doing red first, and then I'm going to be going over with a light shade of black, I think.
So that's the bottom all done. I am going to go back and do another layer. It's not quite as uh, bright as I want it to be, but that's just kind of how watercolor works. I'm going to go and do the top now. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and just get some more red. And I'm just gonna start trying to make it this a little bit richer. And there we go. There's the front of the pack done. I think I might leave it at that. I might go back over it once it's dried a little bit, but I think I'm going to leave it at that for the moment. I'm going to go ahead and do the top of the pack real quick, which is going to be, I want to say the lightest portion. I'm going to try to make it the lightest. Maybe not that light, but I can always go over it again. There we go. Definitely want that to be a little bit darker, but it is what it is. Let's grab that dot of water. And then now I've got to go ahead and do this side of the pack. And I'm going to try to get this side a little bit gray as well uh, from doing some black, I think. So yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. So I think first off, I'm going to go and do red up top, and then I'm just going to go over with one shade of black. And I also need to do red on the bottom right here. There we go. And now let's go and do red up here. There we go. All right, sweet, sweet. Cool, cool, cool. Looking, looking good if I do say so myself. Uh, let's go ahead and do this side in a very light shade of gray, I think. Ooh, this is going to be scary. If I mess this up, oof, it's going to be bad. Okay, that's fine.
Alrighty, and there we go. And what am I thinking? So yeah, that's a little bit darker. I don't know. I'm not really liking the look of it too much, but I think I'll like it a lot more once I actually add the pen and everything like that. And do I want to do like any shading or anything like that? Like I could totally go ahead and do a shadow. I had not thought to sketch that out, but I could totally do a shadow. Let's think about this for a minute. I'm just going to put my that put that in there. And so if I'm looking at it, I'm just going to try to get like the look. Okay, so if I'm looking at it like that, like this. Okay, there we go. And then the shadow is gonna be kind of like behind it, all the way down, and then like across. Let's give it a try. Grab my ruler again. I never do shadows, but so that's kind of like that. So I'm thinking I want this one to be, goes a lot closer. Kind of like that. And this kind of goes like that. Almost. And then this also goes like just straight back. And I actually messed that up a little bit, so that is just going to go and just straight across like this. All right, and so I messed that up a little bit. I went a little bit too high up. So I was gonna say where that ends is probably, okay, right about here where that ends. There you go. All right. I'm going to go and erase the rest of this. Just like that. And yeah, okay, so that's some, uh, that's, that's the base layers for the shading done. Let's just go and take a look at that. There's also some more lighter areas, which are kind of like fady this way. And then there's some more, which is kind of like this. And yeah, okay, cool. I do think real quick though, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I will cut the video and I'll be right back. I gotta go take a piss. So I will be right back y'all. Uh, excuse me, I'm feeling much better now. Took my piss, certainly no complaints on my behalf. Uh, there we go, got the shading mostly all done though. So this is gonna be the darkest area and then this is gonna be another dark area and then this is gonna be kind of light, and then this is gonna be kind of light. And yeah, that's kind of how it's going to go. Alrighty, cool, cool, got the shading all done. I don't think there's any other shading. This actually kind of goes a little bit more like that. If I had to say. So now let's go ahead and erase all these lines. And let's go and watercolor paint them. Move this to the side. There we go. Perfect, perfect. And now let's just go ahead and touch up where I accidentally erased some of the areas. Oh, thankfully my phone is still recording. And my phone just hit 20%. Uh, it is what it is. And so there we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more black. And uh, this, is looking, this is looking pretty, this is looking pretty gross. I am not drinking that. Let's go and grab some black. Let's go and do the darker areas first. That's way too black. I fucked up. I gotta 
grab some of that pigment quickly before it starts drying. That is way too damn dark. I did not want it to be that dark. Come on, come on. All right. It's not going exactly as planned. Get all of that off. Dry this out. Grab that pigment and go. All right, there we go. Much better. And now, because this is so dark, I've got to deepen this up as well. So let's do just that. Let's be a little bit more careful this time. <laughs> let's be a little bit more careful this time. Oh, just like that. That's perfectly fine. And let's dry it out. Grab a lot of that pigment and drag it around. All right, there we go. All done with this side of the shading. And now let's go and do the back as well. Alrighty, and there we go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do that, dip that once, and then go for that. And then this is all going to be much lighter. Much lighter, I said much lighter. Come on. Spread it around. No, 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 this needs to be lighter. This needs to be lighter than the surrounding. Spread it around, come on, come on, come on. Spread around, spread around. This needs to be lighter. Like a lot lighter than it is now. This is not light enough. I don't know why I did that. I always overestimate black and I really shouldn't. Or I always underestimate black and I really shouldn't. That's always the mistake I make. Grab some of that. Underestimating black is always a mistake, and that's exactly what I've done today. It is what it is. It's not game changing or game ending. That is for sure. Alright, and then I also need some very light over here. There we go. That's how I should have done it from the beginning. That's much better. That's so much better. Spread it around, spread it around. Quickly, 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 quickly. Take a look at that real quick. Okay.
Alrighty, well, I'm not super duper happy with the shading, but I'm going to finish it off anyway. Try something new, and hey, you learn. I've definitely, this has been a learning experience for me, that is for sure. So I'm just going to go and finish off the rest of the shading up here. This has been an educational experience, to say the least. And there we go. All right. So there is the shading all done. And one of the parts where I messed up is I, I, I didn't make that nearly dark enough. I, oh, wow. I'm fixing it. How am I fixing that? There we go. Oh, man. Perfect. I just fixed it just like that. All right. Uh, so I think I'm mostly done watercolor painting. I am... Real quick, though, going to go dump out my water because there's no way in hell I can make the red any richer uh, with this water. So I'm going to go dump it out, and I am going to go get some more. I apologize about any noise you're all hearing. Looking at it in the uh, in the uh, phone view, though, it's actually looking pretty good. Taking a look at it from afar, I'm actually pretty happy with how this is looking. I ain't gonna lie. The shading isn't exactly perfect, but it definitely looks very amateur. But, I mean, like, hey, I am an amateur, so <laughs> what can I say? You know what I'm saying? What can I say? Uh, but it's definitely looking a lot better than not, and I am definitely more happy with it than not as well. I don't typically do this sort of stuff, but it is honestly really nice to switch it up, but yet still keep some of my same sort of stylistic... Uh, sort of intention in there like with the Joe and my face and everything like that kind of thing It is fun to kind of do something more like a still life, but to still keep it kind of a, a Similar style from what I'm used to doing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and richen This red up real quick. I think It's just not red enough for my personal liking There we go. That's much better. And then, while I do kind of want to make the front a little bit more uh, red as well, I do kind of want that to be a little bit more of a bold red. I do, mm, do I? Yeah, I think I'm going to go for it. Just try to do one more layer of red just to make it a little bit bolder. I think that's going to be the goal. Some bristles wanting to come out. Definitely not the best quality brush in the world. And I've been beating on it for the last, I don't know, couple weeks I've been using it.
There we go. That is a much better deep red. And I'm kind of wanting the top to be the same. So I think I'm going to do the same thing to the top as well. There we go. Much better. And I'm kind of wanting to do another layer of red on this side as well. Just one more. Just to bring back the red tint just a little bit. All right, there we go. I am thinking that that is all of the watercolor. Oh, no, I need to do one more thing. I need to do one more thing. I need to richen this up. Much better. And now I'm done. Sweet. All right, cool, cool. I'm all done with watercolor painting. And that took, oh man, we're 56 minutes into the video, or at least a pre-edit because I did go take a piss. Wow, I was not planning. I was not planning on this drawing uh, taking this long, that is for sure. Now let's go ahead and start just drying it out kind of thing, because I am ready to go over with my pen. So I'm just going to go ahead and dry the wet areas out. Just dab everywhere that's been watercolor painted just very quickly. And it looks like it's all already pretty dry. Feeling it? Yep, it feels all pretty dry. Let's go ahead and start going over the drawing itself. I'm going to go ahead and put this away. Throw this away. And I'm going to move this out of the way so I don't knock it over by accident. Move my ruler. Move my pack of cigarettes. Move this. Grab my pen. And let's go ahead and start going over. I'm just going to stand up and take a look. I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. I ain't going to lie. 3D is not my is not my forte. Shading, not my forte. Uh, but I'm, I'm definitely a lot more happy with this drawing right here than not. That is for sure. And I'm thinking it'll look even better uh, once I actually go ahead and get all the lines going and everything like that uh, with my Sharpie S gel pen. Uh, so let's go ahead and start doing those lines. I'm just going to take this very slowly. Be very careful. I do not want to make any mistakes. I've put this long into this drawing. I don't want to mess it up for myself. Uh, but even if I do, hey, no reason to take no no reason to take it too seriously, kind of thing. It certainly would be what it be. It's just a drawing after all. I can always redo it again in the future. So there we go. That side is just about done now. And so now let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and just flip it like this. I'm going to go and do the top. I'm going to flip it like this actually and I'm going to go and do the top. I'm going to go and do the bottom as well. And now I'm going to do this side. I'm going to do this up here. 
Can y'all see that properly? Okay, I think y'all can. I think y'all can. <sighs> there we go. All right, so that is the outline all done now. That's the uh, base level. I'm going to be going over the lines again, but now it is time for me to go ahead and add all of the details that I need to add. Uh, so let's go ahead and start off with the actual Marlboro ribbon right here. Just like that. And let's go ahead and do this line down here as well. And there we go. And now let's go ahead and do the text. There we go. Whoa. I hope that didn't end the video. Uh, my phone now says it has 15% remaining. I do think what I might do is uh, grab my power brick because I don't know how much longer this is gonna take. I don't want my phone to die while I'm recording this. So I'm actually gonna grab my power brick real quick, grab my cord, and I'm actually going to go ahead and plug in my phone, which is right on my desk. It's right on my desk. But uh, I'm gonna plug in my phone just in case anyway, because I know my, my normal cord uh, won't won't reach my phone in the uh, little holder I have right now. So I'm just going to be very careful. I'm just going to be very careful and just make sure that there are no issues uh, with the phone dying or anything like that. Oh, da, da, da. And there we go. Okay, it's now charging as we can see. I'm going to put that over here and let's go and continue. I am really liking how this is shaping up to look though. I definitely need to go over a bunch of the lines again, make them look a little bit more distinct, but I am very, very, very happy with how this is looking so far. Now let's go and do this. Let me go and do this, this one up here, I think. Perfect. Let's just do one more right there, one more right there, one more right there. There we go. And let's go ahead and do this uh, little area right here that says filtered cigarettes on the normal pack, but not on this pack. And we can see you know, my page is a little bit, is bending up a little bit. It's definitely a little bit wet, that is for sure. But sitting in my notebook for the next little bit, getting crushed, it'll be just fine in a day or two. And honestly, I mean, like, I know some parts where I, I got over the line a little bit. I am not a color within the line type of person. I don't care. It is just fine. I actually like it. It's a stylistic thing, in my opinion. I'm a pretty big fan of how it looks. So I really do have no complaints on my behalf. And now let's go ahead and do the final thing that I have not done in pen yet. Let's go and do the face.
And there we go. That is the drawing almost all done. That's all of the pencil lines that I had that, uh, that I needed to go over. And now, basically, all I've got to do for the rest of the drawing is, well, quite literally, uh, just go over a lot of the lines that I want to be more distinct. I want the corners to be a little bit darker, and I just want to make all of the lines more distinct in general. Uh, so now that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to start up here, and I'm just going to make these just a little bit more distinct and whatnot. Have that coming down, make this a little bit more distinct as well. There we go. And I'm really liking how these lines are looking with with them being a little bit more distinct, so I definitely am just going to keep doing that. There we go, there we go. No complaints on my behalf. Looking good. Let's go and do this one as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this one too. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start moving my way up. There we go. Perfect, perfect. And yeah, I'm like, now this is turning out so far. Now let's go ahead and do this one right here. And I'm just going to just take a look at it for a minute and just see if there's any other details I need to add. I think I'm going to make that a little bit distincter, make that. All right, there we go. Perfect, perfect. No complaints on my behalf. Alrighty, though, y'all. I am thinking that this drawing is just about done. I have been at this for... Uh, just about an hour now a little bit a little bit over an hour just taking a look at it from afar i am actually really proud of this i'm actually really proud of how this turned out i 
yeah, I'm really, I'm really, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I really do have no complaints on my behalf. I think that's just about everything I wanted to do. Maybe make this line a little bit more distinct as well. Oh, uh, one thing I forgot to do, I forgot to make these lines distinct. So let's just do that real quick. There we go. Do that right there. It's okay. I messed up a little bit, but it is what it is. And there we go. Should make all these lines just a little bit more distinct. There we go. Okay. I am overall extremely satisfied with this drawing. It's been a lot of fun. It's taken a long time. It's taken a long time, y'all. I, I did not expect this to take this long. I think it took me a total of 30 minutes to even get this sketched up. Another 30 for me to actually watercolor paint it. And then another 10 minutes for me to go ahead and get the actual pen drawing all done. I've got shading, though. I've got shadows. This is the most in-depth I've gone realistic-wise with any drawing in years. No joke. For any in, if with, with any drawing in years. Uh, I don't think I've gone tried even tried to go this in depth uh, since probably four or five years ago, and this has turned out so well. I even without trying to improve my my realism skills, which this is still not super realistic. Which I didn't I didn't really try to make it super realistic, but this is definitely still not super realistic. But this is so much better than how it could have turned out, and I am so 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 happy with this drawing. I have indeed drawn a pack of cigarettes in today's video. I, I've watercolor painted a pack of cigarettes in today's video. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to well like and subscribe for more content. Of course, please make sure to leave any constructive criticism y'all have for this drawing right here, for this watercolor painting right here in the comments down below as well. And of course, please make sure to let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks for watercolor painting. I am still very much an amateur at watercolor painting, but I am trying to get better. I, it's something I really enjoy. Uh, so just let me know if y'all have any tips or tricks or anything like that. I would love to hear them. Uh, but yeah, I think that's just about all I had to say. So as such, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and roll the outro. Now, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. As said, I am very, very, very happy with this. As said, good trick for criticism and just any tips or tricks you all have for watercolor in the comments down below, please. And of course, please make sure, of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my main channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. And of course, make sure to go check out my Twitter, my TikTok, and all of my other socials in the description down below as well. But yeah, thank you very much for watching y'all to the next one. Stay safe and peace. Never a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.